Hello and welcome to another Nintendo News episode for September 20th, 2017. I want to go over one article which I feel is very important. I also want to talk about some games I want to give away at the end of the video. If you don't care about the story, just move ahead to the end of the video and watch then. Okay, so first of all, I really do enjoy Nintendo's games most of the time. And lately it seems like Nintendo has been listening to its fanbase. They're really trying to get more third-party games. They're releasing great games consistently for, a Ninten for the Nintendo Switch. And the Switch was actually designed with requests from Capcom in mind. They wanted 4GB, but Nintendo didn't. At the end, we got 4GB. So Nintendo's actually learning from their previous mistakes, which is great. But Nintendo still has a lots of work to do. I can talk about their horrible and super weak online multiplayer experience and chat for an hour today, but I just want to focus on how Nintendo reacts to people messing with their IP. The article I want to go over is called Nintendo Issues Takedowns for Super Mario 64 Online Mod Videos, which also took down the modder's Patreon. And it comes from endgadget.com, link in description. Okay, so just a quick recap. In case you didn't know, modders or a modder uh, released a tool that enabled people to play Super Mario 64 online with other people. You could play with 23 other people simultaneously. I haven't tried it, so I don't know how that works. Basically, modders modified the ROM for this, and now it has this function. It's it's an EXE file, right? I didn't hear anything about this for a week until now because Nintendo um, um, I would have expected Nintendo to take this down faster but it, it took longer why I don't know uh, but Nintendo being Nintendo took down all the videos promoting this tool and even took down the modders patreon page but the mod is already out and and Nintendo can't really scrub the internet it can choose to participate out of the internet like it does like it does with online play and you know no chatting but whatever but it can't remove anything from the internet right no one can now in this particular case Nintendo may have had the legal right and support to do what it did um, they took the game file and they altered it somehow and now you're playing with that differently without their permission okay I can see how Nintendo would have the right and some people might even agree with that I kind of don't but um, but sadly this type of Nintendo like behavior stems into what you would consider normal gameplay usage what do I mean by that well let's continue many people have commented on this and have stated what I am about to state I've said it before and we're going to keep stating it until Nintendo comes into the year 2017 where the internet is readily available to the common folk this is the statement I want to make. When a YouTuber posts let's play for Nintendo IP, it actually is free propaganda for your video games. It's like a really really long commercial that you are not paying for. Nintendo, you need to understand this. Other companies have already understood this, acknowledged this, and even embraced it because they know that the benefits outweigh the possible risks. No one in their right mind assumes that they create, when they watch a Let's Play video, that they assume that that streamer created what they are playing. I play Titanfall 2 a lot, and I've streamed it a lot, I don't play it that much anymore. And no one has ever hinted at even thinking about congratulating me on my great game. That's not how this works. We play games which normal people know were not made by us, the streamer. And then the viewer usually goes and does research about that game or just buys the game if they were on the fence about it before and they liked the gameplay. If there is no gameplay, then there is, there are less sales. It's as, as simple as that really, it really is. Nintendo, you're doing such a great job with the Nintendo Switch minus online multiplayer and chat. 
If you want the Switch to sell more than the Wii, which some people have already thought a possibility, not me, I still think it's too soon, I, um, but you need to embrace this new technology uh, and new mediums like a 10 year old YouTube. It's not that new, Nintendo. Get with the program. Thanks for listening. I have five free games to give away. These are Steam codes for games. The games are Trib Loose 2, Pixel Puzzles 2 Birds, Pixel Puzzles 2 Space, Space Farmers, and Defend the Highlands. How can you win? Well, all you have to do is like, comment on, and share this video using hashtag Red Racer Giveaway. Uh, share it on Twitter. Uh, it's all one word, hashtag Red Racer Giveaway. Uh, details in the description. I will randomly pick a, uh, people, five people, to win these games. And if I choose you first, you will be able to choose uh, which game you want. So if you get if you get chosen first, you can pick which game you want, right? Um, and then the last person will just get the last game that's left over. As soon as this video gets 5,000 views, I will announce the first winner. Then the 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, and 10,000. I'm just gonna skip 9,000 because everybody skips 9,000. Windows skip nine, Apple skip nine, so I'll skip nine too. Remember, please share it. The faster we get to the view count, the faster I announce the winner. And my other Nintendo Switch game giveaway is still going on. Details in the description. Void or prohibited. Must be 18 or older to be eligible to win. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on my next video. Bye.